joy and crown. Stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. I entreat Euodia and I entreat Syndici to agree in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Euodia, Syndici, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. I love the church people from the city of Philippi so much. When I was thrown in jail for talking about Jesus, they were there for me like no one else was. I wrote this letter to encourage them of many things, but when I heard of the disagreement between Euodia and Syndici, women who worked hard by my side to tell people about Jesus, I was sad because I know their hearts are pure and that this caused them to become proud. Jesus calls us to rejoice. Rejoicing means finding something you can be happy about, even in a hard or an annoying situation, like being happy that you have a cozy bed, even if you're sick, or that your parents love you, even if you bring home a bad grade, or that you love your friend, even if you feel hurt by something they just did. In all these things, we can choose to find something happy, we can choose to rejoice, and it can look as simple as a smile in every single thing.